I'm just a broken instrument in the hands of the greatest. What's up everybody, this is D Mastermind coming to you just in time with another video on our Angels franchise and today we got episode 22, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We got the Angels, we're going to face off against the Cleveland Indians as Otani is on the mound against this young stud Tristan McKenzie who has a 3.67 area around the year and 10 and 5 so he's off to a really good start but first I wanted to show you guys some of the standings, let you guys see where some of the teams sit. So the Angels, we have a 10 game lead, a 10 and a half game lead over the Astros but the Astros lead the wild card. They have that first spot in the wild card and then the White Sox. And then the Mets are up top the NL East with the Braves behind them. Then the Brewers up top the NL Central. And then the Dodgers up top the NL West. And the Padres are really far behind, but they lead the wild card race. So that's pretty crazy. And then the Braves as well. And then you, you can see a little bit here, just the teams are really close in the NL Central. With the White Sox and Indians are actually tied up top. And then the Twins are only a half a game back. So that's the most competitive division so far right now. On a path to the playoffs. So White Sox, Indians, and Twins. We'll see how that plays out. But here we go. The Angels with Otani on the mound. Let's see if we can keep up our great start. We're 78-45. and 45. Couldn't have expected a better start by the Angels. And we're going to play this Indians game. And then our next game will be against the Padres. On an NL West interleague matchup. Now here we go. August 20th. We're getting closer and closer to these playoffs. And Otani is 8-3 on the year. Going against 10-5 McKenzie. They both have pretty decent ERAs. And get, get a lot of shekels. But McKenzie gives up a lot of hits. Alright guys, we're here at Progressive Field. This is a beautiful stadium. I love playing here. And we got uh, Mike Trout up to bat here at the top of the fourth as we jump ahead a little bit as nothing was going in the first three innings. And on a full count of Mike Trout. He smokes this one deep to left field. And that one's going to be a no doubt big fly for Mike Trout to give the Angels a 1-0 lead to start this game. So the first run of the game, of course, comes from the MVP candidate right there, Mike Trout. He smoked it to those deep left field seats over that scoreboard they have out there. What a beautiful field, though. Up next is Jared Walsh, who's been excellent. And he smokes that to the deep left center field gap. That's going to stay in the ballpark, but it bounces off the wall. And Walsh is going to get an easy stand-up double here. So back-to-back -back extra base hits here by the Angels. And Rendon up, who's, man, this guy's been amazing on the last couple weeks. As in our last episode, he was better than 290. Now he's almost up to a 300 batting average, which is tough to do. And he smokes it to the right center field gap. That's going to get down. Three extra base hits in a row. Actually, Rendon's going to stay at first. He's pretty slow. But that's a 2-0 lead now with Max Dassey up. And he strikes out there on that big 12-6 curve by McKenzie. And he shows why he's a coveted young pitcher in this league. And then he gets eaten the strikeout so they don't get any other runs. But they got two runs there. As Trout stays hot. Rendon stays hot. As they both drive in a run. And I'm really impressed by what Rendon's been able to bring to this team lately. He's showing exactly why the Angels paid him those big bucks. And Otani here in the bottom of the fourth. Gets an easy ground out to the pitcher. And he's been cruising along in this game. He's walked a few, but other than that, hasn't given up any hits really. As he gets an easy ground out there to David Fletcher. And this is what you want to see from Otani, learning how to pitch. And Jose Ramirez is an amazing slugger. Strikes out there on that fastball, painted on that outside right corner. 2-0 lead still. Bottom of the sixth. Andreas Jimenez up now, left handed hitting second baseman. And he smokes that in the right field. That's going to get past Adam Eaton. And it's going to be an easy stand up double as Eaton gets that back into the infield in time so he doesn't get a triple. This Jimenez has some good wheels. But Otani gets him to strike out there on that slider on the outside. So now Austin Hedges up next to backstop. And he grounds through that first base hole. Are they going to send him home? That 81 speed. Eaton gets a nice throw on it. And he slides in there just safe. That was a close one. So now it's 2-1. to one. 
Oh, a beautiful double play here by the Angels to end this sixth inning. So they hold on there to that 2-1 lead. Man, Fletcher and Iglesias turned a beautiful play there. Bottom of the seventh now. 2-2 two two count, two outs already. And Framel Reyes up. And he hits that to deep left center field. Is Upton going to get to it? He is not. As he gave it a good effort, but that's a stand-up double for Framel Reyes. Oh, Tiny trying to get out of this inning now. Eddie Rosario up next. And he's going to hit that to the same spot almost. And it's back-to-back -back doubles. And the game is now tied 2-2. Two to two. So Tiny just trying to get out of this 7th inning with a tie ball game. Running on first and second. And he gets a pop-up here to the infield. David Fletcher is going to get under this one. So he's going to leave this game in a 2-2 two to two tie. 7th inning of 2 run balls. 4 hits and 1 error. Fletcher smokes it to shortstop, but they're going to catch that on the line. And that's tough to see by Fletcher. But they, Justin Upton up now. Is the score. Justin Upton toward the corner. That got over the wall and gone. Boy, that was a rocket for Jaya. Uptown funk out of the ballpark. A rocket for Justin Upton. Now fourth home run. And Jaya gives the Angels a one-run lead in an eighth inning. On a huge clutch bomb as Uptown Funk smokes that one 106 miles per hour off the bat. And that was a no doubter moonshot. And Iglesias said now to close this one out as we know what he does. Almost 100 miles per hour on that fastball and a beautiful slider. And he gets that first out of the inning there as they line that one out to the first baseman. Fremer Reyes up now who already has a double on the day. Two and two count. And he goes down there swinging on that beautiful slider. And now we just need this final out of the game to secure this one-run victory to Eddie Rosario, who has a double on the day as well. And he grounds out there easily to Jared Walsh. And that's going to be a 3-2 victory at Progressive Field as the Angels get a huge win on a Justin Upton bomb, a clutch moonshot. And that'll do it for this one as the Angels get their 79th victory on the year. I mean, this team is just rolling. The pitching is holding it down, and the hitters are getting just timely base hits and home runs. And the player of the game is going to be Otani, seven innings with seven walks. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Have a blessed day. Peace. Yeah, yeah. I'm just a broken instrument in the hands of the greatest.